When people ask me what I do, I tell them I work in tech as a cloud engineer. And the next question they usually ask is, okay, you're a cloud engineer, so what programming language do you code with? And my answer is always, I don't really code much. And they're like, what? But you're in tech, so of course you code. So you don't need to code to be an engineer in tech? We know there are many roles in tech that are non-technical, like your scrum master or your project manager, but we're not talking about these roles. I'm talking about technical engineer roles, like for instance, your cloud engineer or your cybersecurity engineer. So the big question is, do you need to know how to code to be a cloud engineer or a cybersecurity engineer? And the answer is, it depends. Let's speak about this a little bit more in this video. What's up everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Caleb Oni Certified. I make content on the tech industry, mainly covering cloud engineering and cyber security. So if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and that might just give you some good luck. So in this video, let me share a bit about my experience working in tech without really programming. And for those of you who have your own experience in the tech industry, whether you've program or you don't program, I'd like to know your experiences and the way you've used code in the past. So please comment in the comment section, your experience of using code. A few people in different comment sections of different videos have asked questions related to this. And so I thought it would be great to make a video about coding in tech if you really need to program or not. So let's get a few things out the way. If you're a software engineer, of course you will need coding skills. And if you're in a non-technical role like a project manager or scrum master or a delivery manager, you won't need any coding skills or technical skills. Those are quite obvious. But there are other areas of tech where that can be kind of gray, like a cloud engineer or cybersecurity engineer. I work in kind of both these roles. I work in cloud security. And yes, I am a cloud engineer and I don't code. I haven't really used much code throughout the course of my career. How, why, let's talk about it. Well, of course, cloud computing is really broad and there are many different areas within cloud computing that will require different skills. So the skills for one cloud engineer role will differ greatly from another. And over the course of my career, I've mainly worked in cloud infrastructure roles, roles like the Azure administrator and even cloud security roles that focus on infrastructure. And so my roles have not been very code heavy. However, my roles have involved the use of code in different areas, but I wouldn't consider this coding or programming. Like my roles have involved the use of command line interfaces, using command prompt and also using PowerShell for different things within Azure and on desktops. And with the use of command line and PowerShell in these instances where I've used them, it hasn't been necessary to know the code in and out. Like you don't need to know every bit of PowerShell to actually use it for your job, especially in the beginning stages of your career. For command prompt, knowing the few basic commands in command prompt was enough for me at the beginning of my career. And I learned most of these commands within the CompTIA A+, which was the first certification which I was studied for. And for PowerShell, I picked up basic knowledge of PowerShell when I was studying for the AZ-104 exam. And through the study of this exam, the commands which I learned were enough for when I actually started working. And as you work, of course, the internet is there for you to pick up loads more commands as you work on certain things. Generally, my roles have mainly required skills such as an understanding of Azure, networking skills, troubleshooting skills, and the knowledge and implementation of cloud features. More specifically, setting up config with Intune, virtual machine creation and setup, Azure VPN creation and setup, the use of conditional access policies, etc. Now, all these things I've mentioned do not require the use or understanding of a coding language. But however, these things can be made easier through the use of code. For instance, with Azure especially, PowerShell is commonly used to automate these processes and make life a lot easier for an engineer, particularly when working on a large scale. Now, with all that I've shared, do remember that I'm sharing on the roles which I've experienced and I've worked in in the past. And do understand that there are many roles within the cloud that do require programming skills and specific programming languages. But what we want to take away from this discussion is that it is not a requirement to know a coding language inside and out to be able to work as a cloud engineer or work within the cloud or cybersecurity. And the need to develop coding skills very much depends on the role you're working and you can definitely be an engineer 
with other skills outside of coding. Before I started working in tech, I was very much focused on learning a programming language like Java. Even though I didn't fully enjoy coding and programming, it wasn't really my thing. I was under the impression that I really needed it and could not succeed without it. This is just not true. And I hope I've been able to explain that well in this video. Make sure to follow me on LinkedIn and Instagram, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.